Well, the taps are about to open for millions in funding to help communities whose water supplies are literally drying up. Today, the state water board okayed some guidelines for handing out $19 million in aid to cities and towns that have been hardest hit by the four-year-old drought. Meanwhile, Californians overwhelmingly agree the drought is serious. A new field poll found almost half say cutting water use even further would be difficult. And 70 percent are saying that raising rates would be a serious hardship. But there's strong evidence tonight that some drought relief is on the way. New at 6, our chief meteorologist Paul Diano says there are signs out in the Pacific Ocean that a wet winter is on the way. Paul. If you don't like our drought, you will love to hear this. There is a high chance that this is going to be a strong El Niño event. Axel Timmerman is an oceanographer and professor at the University of Hawaii. He says it's already happening. El Niño, the equatorial Pacific, is warming and shows no signs of stopping. If that remains very persistent, which is likely to be the case, El Niño will amplify over uh, the uh, summertime. The strongest El Niño on record happened in 1997 and 98. Flooding, mudslides, wind, we had it all. We don't want the damage this time, but we do want every drop of rain we can get. El Nino, which you may remember we reported on the possibility of a strong El Nino for last winter, and it fizzled. Axel says this year is different, much different. There is already a momentum in the system that will further push the trajectory towards a warming case. So how much does El Nino actually matter? Well, it depends on what kind of El Nino you're talking about. San Francisco averages 22 inches of rain a year. In a weak El Nino, we're actually three inches below normal. In a strong El Nino, much more rainfall. Four inches above average, we average 26 inches of rainfall. There's a special category, though, for the strongest of the strong El Ninos called very strong El Ninos. Only happened twice, 82, 83, and then again in 97, 98. In those two years, we averaged nearly double our normal rainfall, 43 inches in those years. Now, what are the computer models saying right now? The latest information coming out is sending the El Nino all the way up here. Anything above two would be a very strong El Nino, and most computer models have us there sometime this fall. When we do have a strong El Nino, it's like the atmosphere on steroids. Jan Null is one of the most tenured meteorologists in the Bay Area. He has seen El Nino years of every shape and every size. As for this one, he's cautiously optimistic. It increases the chances of having above normal rainfall. No guarantees in this business, though, with an El Nino, because that's not the only thing going on in the atmosphere. All right, as Jan mentioned, not a guarantee, and that's one thing we need to drive home. It is not a guarantee, but look at these numbers one more time. Very strong El Nino, which computer models are now predicting will happen this fall and this winter. It's only happened twice, 82, 83, 97, 98. You've lived here for a while. You know what happened both of those winters. Double our average rainfall. We haven't been close to normal for the past four years. Imagine how different winter would look like if we received 43 inches of rain in San Francisco. It might be the biggest dent in the drought that we've seen in nearly 20 years. We'll get more information this week, and I'll keep you updated throughout the summer and fall. Back to you, Veronica. All right, Paul, thank you. It sounds good.